Hey guys, uh, this is Summer again from Alibaba Cloud Database Product Team. Uh, last week, we figured out a puzzle upon the surprising performance result between on-premise MySQL and F3DB RDS MySQL. Um, also, we introduced some global settings of MySQL. As you know, that's just a small but essential part of parameters that influence MySQL performance. Well, uh, we're not going to work through all of it. If you are interested in that, we recommend you to read online MySQL manual. You will find the very detailed explanations. Around performance, this week and the next, we'll introduce some performance testing tools that are widely used when doing OLTP, basic benchmark testing. First will be uh, Sysbench. Sysbench is a modular cross-platform and multi-threaded benchmark tool that you can use to evaluate the performance of the core parameter of a system that runs a heavily loaded database. It provides a quick method to help you understand the performance of database systems. Besides, it can also be used to evaluate the performance of a system. Today, we are only focused on the part used in database performance test. Before we start, let me introduce the environment we will use today. Well, uh, this is the ECS console. Uh, as you can see, here's an ECS uh, running CentOS 7.6 and that we will use to help us run the performance test commands. And now let's go to RDS console. Well, um, here's then AppsRDB RDS MySQL. Uh, the version is uh, MySQL 8.0. And it is one vCPU and one gigabytes RAM. Okay, uh, all right, let's begin. First, uh, let's connect to the ECS and uh, install sysbench. Okay. It already requires a few minutes to get it done. Uh, first will be uh, dependencies. Okay, yes. Next, download from Git. Then switch the category and uh, choose the version as good. And initiate. Must make and making store. Well, make in store. When it's done, uh, test the connection of RDS MySQL and create a test database. Test uh, user and grant privileges on it. Okay, uh, let's connect to the RDS, copy and print. Let's go. Test. 
I'll do this. Show databases. In this demo, uh, the test database is Sysbench. Great. We need to check the account. The task account will be a Sysbench test RDS. Let's try again. RDS. Password is uh, sys bench. Okay. We are in database. Yeah, this is a testing database. Okay, quit. Next. Time to use Sysbench. In general, there are three cases of testing. First, write only. Second, uh, read only. And third, write with read, uh, which is somehow uh, much closer to the actual situation in the uh, production environment. And so uh, let's start from uh, write only. First step, uh, use Sysbench to generate uh, test tables. We have uh, prepared the command. Copy that and okay. All right. Uh, Ten tables has been uh, created. Now, well, uh, it has done. Let's see the result. The test case is write only, right? So here's the TPS. And if you want to test for uh, read only, just clean up the table, clean up, and then execute the similar command. Prepare first. Range only. To save time, uh, let's modify it into 100 rows. You could be fast. And then run. Yeah. I think it can be uh, finished shortly. Yeah, we got the result. Because it's a read-only test, so let's see the uh, query performance, QPS. And we still have the uh, last one. Let's be quick. Clean up first. And change it. Change it to read write. Okay. And now run. Read write. Only one table. Well, here's the result. Um, Cause it's a um, case both ways, read and write. So we need to focus uh, both on TPS and QPS. Well, uh, this is all for today. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next week. Bye.